hello everyone in this video i'll explain the buffer loop or a hack that allow you to do simulation directly in the geometry nodes so it is quite uh, simple to set up and allow you to create many amazing algorithm uh, in the geometry nodes so in this video we are going to do the curl noise which is the simplest one to do that uh, with the uh, this hack so let's get start so as i said this is a hack it only works in the EV render engine uh, without the motion blur. I have talked uh, to the developers and we will have a similar system uh, in the geometry nodes which uh, will be the simulation nodes and the loop nodes. So that will allow you to do uh, these amazing effects. So why we are uh, doing this? Because this uh, preliminary uh, feature, you can say, help you to uh, learn uh, the simulation concept and how you can build different algorithms uh, in the geometry nodes. So this is the idea uh, for this uh, video to help you to understand uh, the simulation concept. So the main idea for the simulation concept is uh, that to get the previous frame data so you can manipulate it and then use it for the next frame uh, then this loop continue and you have this uh, the simulation i have also a detailed video for the simulation concept in the animation nodes and if you like you can check that so let's get start first we're going to set up uh, this simulation hack and then i'll explain how does it uh, work so let's add the plane let's uh, name this as the sim setup and add the geometry nodes and i'm going to name this as sim so we have this and then we're going to add another plane this will be our buffer object as its name we can store uh, the data for the frame so that we can access in the next frame so here we're going to also add this geometry node and let's name this as buffer and here disconnect this because we don't want this geometry we want the geometry from our simulation object change this to relative and plug this here and you can also connect this to this so this is our buffer uh, setup it has this sim setup object all the work we will do in the sim setup okay and here bring this buffer object so now we have this so this is the metric from the buffer let's name this as uh, this is our uh, previous frame data okay and this will be our uh, initial data okay and we will uh, switch uh, between these two after the first frame so let me maximize this let's add the switch node here and connect this to the true and let's add the frame not sorry a uh, scene in time and then add the greater than node okay here we're going to specify our start time of the simulation so let's also add the value node here and name this as the start uh, frame let's start from the first frame connect this uh, to this so when it is at the first frame it will uh, use uh, this initial data and after the first frame it will uh, get the data from our buffer uh, we can add a simple uh, this set position node and this is let's also add the frame and this is our sim uh, setup so here we will uh, do whatever the simulation we want and because we wa also want to uh, stop this simulation means after certain uh, frames so let's add another uh, node a compare node and change this to uh, less than equal to uh, duplicate this connect to this p uh, input rename this as end and this here we can type the 100 frames let's group this sorry uh, frame this and this will be our time setup or we can name this as start a sim start and end okay let's duplicate this and we want uh, after this end frame 
it should output uh, the buffer frame without the sim set okay so when it's true it should uh, give the sim uh, when it is false it should give our original buffer data without the sim setup and uh, let's connect this to this now we have this setup so this is our basic uh, simulation and if i type here says point 0.1 then as we run see we can also hide this on uh, this buffer frame because we don't need this You can also disable this in the rendering because we only want to render this sim or the data from the sim setup. See this uh, uh, plane is moving in the x direction and after the 100 frames it will stop at this point. So this is the basic uh, buffer loop or the hack or the simulation uh, feature for the geometry nodes how does it work at the first frame sim setup runs first uh, because uh, buffer setup depends on the sim setup so buffer setup always uh, you can see lag behind uh, the sim setup so it always going to store the whatever the mesh get evaluated at that frame this is how i imagine it uh, works uh, in the blender dependency graph now we have uh, this basic uh, setup uh, we're going to uh, do the uh, curl noise with this so let's first add the points here uh, let's add the distribute points and then we're going to also convert these points into the vertices because later we will extrude these uh, vertices uh, based on the noise so let's connect this to this and we have these points these points are moving okay fine and another thing we have to restore a boolean uh, attribute to these points means these points has a true value let's type it uh, name of this is top make this uh, true so these points all going to be get extruded in the in this sim setup now let's uh, delete this uh, let's add the extrude node and let's extrude this based on the points or what sees connect this to the true uh, it is extruding these overseas but we have to specify this selection and also reset uh, the top selection otherwise if i go to the on this spreadsheet you will see that let me decrease the point maybe even now we have this only one point or one vertices as we go to next frame we have to say four eight it is drastically increasing because it is extruding each vertices of this uh, the vertices from the previous plane so to solve this let's add a named attribute node here and type here the top on this top in the next frame we will only going to extrude the latest vertices okay so that can be done with the help of this uh, store named attribute node change this to boolean and we're going to reset this uh, our top to the vertices which are just extruded in this uh, frame now let's go to the first frame let me open the spreadsheet so you can see the these vertices see 10 frame 10 vertices 10 frame 15 vertices now it is correctly extruding uh, these vertices now let's type here and another thing i forgot to mention is that uh, we don't have any cache system in this uh, this hack so you can't bake uh, the simulation into keyframes and if you want to render this you have to render from the star to that you can't render the in between frames okay, directly you have to start from the star frame so this is another uh, limitation of this uh, system next add the subtract node 
5.5 then we need the noise node so basically we are only dealing with the direction of the noise field not the actual noise values type here 0 maybe a point d5 see we have this noise and here you can uh, change this uh, scale is if the steps are too long and it may give this jagged lines and here we can also change the noise with time frame and type here this multiply connect this to this maybe punch one is fine you can also animate this uh, scale as well and it's very fast means if i type here 100 see it's really fast uh, you can also do another thing means if we want to put this skull noise on to object means it should follow the surface of the object let's first uh, delete this plane and add uh, maybe icosphere this let me add the subdivision modify to get a uh, nice uh, normal from the surface so we have this now basically we have to uh, get the normal uh, from our this icosphere change this to vector normals and let's put this in this frame and here we need to do the cross product okay now you have they are following the surface topology but they are not sticking to the uh, surface for that we have to add the proximity node after this cross product let's add the proximity and add here another set position and we want to pull the these vertices of these uh, edges onto the surface see now it is following let me disconnect the time so this is the whole setup And if you don't want this, let's mute this. And here you can also add the switch node um, for the true, and this is for the false. You can easily switch between the this one or following the mesh topology. See, so it is starting randomly, and after certain descent is following the mesh topology and if you enable this then it will bring back these those points to the surface uh, here we can also add when it is to use this otherwise use the normal position now it's time to render these these lines and we can't convert these edges uh, into the splines here or into the curves in this set this is only for the simulation so we have to add another object now let's add another one name this as sim render add the geometry nodes bring this setup this sim setup here then delete this and we want mesh from our sim setup so let me disable our sim setup only this one now let's convert on that into a into the curves and then back to the mesh and here profile may be circle six radius point one then I can add the setup material node let's add a basic material for this um, just a mission material include this and the mission now we can i want to randomize the color for each spline so let's store that attribute inside this setup let me also name this as sim render uh, we need to uh, store first we're going to store the factor and that will be 
select from the spline parameter and next we will store the random that will be per spline okay random value rand so let's go to the material attribute vector then we need another one which is for the rand random values okay so let's add uh, the ramp here and also add the multiply node let's multiply them so this is the vector spline vector and this is the random values and if we multiply them we will get this different uh, gradient random values the spline next we're going to uh, color these splines based on the values let's change this to maybe this magenta type color here and second one maybe white okay so we have this setup and let's change the noise so that we get a different pattern maybe scale around 25 so you can also animate uh, that this really interesting pattern with this and this is really fast so this is it uh, for this simulation hack and i have also made a test particle system with this hack and if you like to see that video then please let me know in the comment section and if you like this work then please do support me and subscribe to my channel for more updates until next time happy noting bye